Hello everyone and welcome to my end of July 2021 vlog. Now I've spent the last week of July in isolation ready for my next deployment. So I spent this time messing about with the editing software and doing a fair bit of gaming. I also come up with the sketch which will be the next clip you'll see. And there's going to be a fair few uploads coming up in the next few days. So, I hope you enjoy. In 1972, a crack commando unit was sent to prison by a military court for a crime they didn't commit. These men promptly escaped from a maximum security stockade to the Los Angeles underground. Today, still wanted by the government, they survive as soldiers of fortune. If you have a problem, if no one else can help, and if you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. We're gonna we're Who's gonna taking the penalty. We're gonna scream Kay. and then we're gonna go. Come, yes, come on, Kay! Come on! Come on, Kay! Come on, Kay! Oh, come on! Come on, Kay. Oh, come on. No! No! Yes! 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 Let's go! You want the bread? I also attended the Evolution Wrestling Training Academy shows. Here are some highlights. I'm going to be away working. Unfortunately, I won't be in the country for the next four months. Work have sent me off to the Pacific Gulf where temperatures could reach as high as 45 degrees Celsius. I have to embrace the sun. Being of a ginger auburn color, we don't tan, we burn. I said in a previous vlog that being away from the kids for two months was hard. Now I'm gonna have to double it and be away from the kids for a full months. I've got a lot of support from my family. I've got a lot of support here. To help me get by, I've downloaded the remastered version of Command and & Conquer and Command & Conquer Red Alert, which I don't think I got around to playing when it first came out. I've also got to play through Witcher 3 and I'm going to go back to play Witcher 2 to unlock the achievements on my Steam account. I've managed to get all my files and stuff onto an external hard drive so I think I've got to go through all that over the next four months. My film project The Quest can be fully written up I suppose over the next four months and actually see if I can get some filming dates now because by the time I get back Restrictions within the UK should be lifted and we can all go back to some form of normality, especially come December. Well, the plus side of being away for so long is that I get to save a ton of money and my kids get a bloody good Christmas. Even though I'm already saving up for Christmas as well, so even extra fun at Christmas. Like I mentioned before on a LARP live stream with LARPbook, I announced that I can't do any more LARPing this year. So the only LARPing I might be able to do is the Falls and Heroes linear stuff if I'm back in time in December. Because once I play that game, my cracking priest then ranks up to father. At this point, having a position of power for my character has kind of gone out the window because by the time that four months has gone past, those who have started the characters or started the cracking priest characters can overtake me easily with the ranking system. Oh, uh, with Falls and Heroes. At least then it gives me, with this four months as well with regards to LARP, it gives me time to piece together the concepts and the outfits I need to do for Humanity Ascendants or Green Cloaks, Skullduggery, other characters for Curious Pastimes and for Fools and Heroes. 
so with these four months I've got time to really think about what's gonna happen in 2022 apart from my 37th birthday <laughs> slowly trenching towards the 40s oh dear by the end uh, end of today I should trim the sides because looking at my beard now it's quite bushy so yeah, I've had a bit of a trim ready for my four months away, so I'm not going to touch the beard whatsoever over the next four months, so hopefully this will grow out exponentially. <laughs> Thankfully, the canteen manager on there that I'm handing over is a good bloke. I don't know if I mentioned before. So we got a proper handover, stores, shop, etc. And then I can tell her how much of a complete and not just he is. Ain't that right, bro? I thought I mentioned before yesterday. Like, that's me done for resting a lot for the next four months. Like, I can't do anything whilst I'm out there, so I'm not taking my gear, my, my equipment, etc. It's all just going to be playing my living bag, my bag full of living stuff for the next four months. I have my laptop so I can do a bit of gaming whilst I'm in between shifts and stuff. And the only thing I'm worried about most out there is the heat. It's They say it's a different kind of heat, like in Malta. I very much enjoyed my time in Malta and I really loved the heat there because it wasn't burning. It was just, it felt like a warm blanket over you and it was absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, I did the whole suntan lotion and stuff because obviously you can't be too careful being ginger. So I really liked Malta. So hopefully it's the same type of heat that Malta provided. We'll just see where we go. I will document as much as I'm allowed to considering the circumstances of my job. So when it comes to the end of August, September, October, November vlogs, possibly even end of December, I will try and show you what I can. At the end of the day, I'm on a military establishment and then a military establishment followed by another military establishment. So recording stuff, I may not be allowed to, but I will do what I can. If it, it might be a vlog where I'm just, you're, it's me talking to the camera and then kind of adding pictures in between whilst also even if it's here or the full screen I would try and provide this channel with something because at the end of the day it's supposed to be for wrestling and LARPing but I'm gonna have to change it for 2022 to add vlog wrestling LARPing because that's what it is vlogs because I'm working away a lot wrestling because I love wrestling and that's what I've been doing since I was 15 and LARPing well is one of my major crazy hobbies of mine so why not promote what you love? I would try to provide you guys that are watching these videos the details of the world through my eyes and how I perceive it. Mental health conditions and all. Right. Found my second job. Yay. Done and dusted. The only side effect I've got is some soreness in the left arm and I had a headache about 20 minutes after the jab. A little bit fatigued before bed last night, but that's about it. That's all the symptoms I've had so far, grand the aftermath of the vaccine. So, that's a plus. Well, it seems like I'm now stuck in isolation till the end of the month, so that is the end of my vlog. That's really it. That was my whole of July. I did about a week's worth, and the rest of it was off on leave. Spent it with the kids, as you saw. Stuck in isolation. That's really it. Most of the stuff's not back unpacked. Coffee's just off screen. I'm gonna continue playing on my laptop, edit all this together, and hopefully August should be a lot brighter and I should be in the Middle East then. But hey ho, that's the nature of my job. There's a lot of uncertainty, a lot of things change, and that's how my job works. Like I could plan a million different things, and if my work goes, nope, you're off, I have to cancel everything. So apologies to CWP, Charity Wrestling Promotions in Southampton. I will not be able to fulfill my booking. I've already sent the promoter message weeks ago. Again, I wish to give you a public apology. But if you are watching this and you're in the Southampton area, get yourself down to Charity Wrestling Promotions. Give them a shot. Every penny they make on tickets and the merch and everything else and your donations goes towards the charity of their choosing. So make sure you get to their events and you're, and you're in for a cracking show anyway. So that's really it. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye bye.